morning everybody got my new load already picked up i'm in morris manitoba right now rural municipality of morris the building's right here look at that i didn't even plan that out here's my load so it's another one that rolls right off it's going to park rapids minnesota as well to a different site deliver it this afternoon and then we're gonna try to get back tonight yet well try to get this trailer back anyways I gotta return the trailer check to make sure this is all good and tight isn't it always great when the main highway gets closed or gets stopped by a red light everybody's got to come to a stop to that one vehicle move across the road this is how it works I'm gonna leave Morris here I've got about four hours down to Park Rapids I'm gonna go as quickly as we can we don't have to stop for groceries today or fuel we might stop for fuel on the way back anyway but our main priority is to get back in time so that I can drop this trailer off and get home or wherever my next load will be before I run out of hours. Because last night we slept right here in Morris. Ran out of hours before I could get all the way back to Winnipeg. It worked out, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more speedy today. So it's got a long stick on the bumper. Usually that means there's an overheight load behind them, but there is not. Man, my window's dirty. Oh, I had it all cleaned out. Oh, I see flashing lights up ahead. Uh oh, what's going on there? Am I just seeing things? I'm pretty sure I saw red and blue flashing lights. Oh, there's a house coming. There's two houses coming. Oh my, police escorts and everything. Oh dear, what are we gonna do here? I keep telling you, these Amazon Prime deliveries are getting out of hand. You wait, you, you wait. It's, I know you can't see it yet, it's coming up here. How am I gonna get past this guy? That's impossible. I can't put myself in the ditch. This is going to be impossible. What are they going to get me to do? I can't, I can't sink myself onto the shoulder here. Anyone here got their radios on? Uh, and the driver with the lumber coming towards you. What's the plan to get around? I can't put myself much further off the road than this. Nobody got their radios on? Nobody's got their radios on, okay. You would think that an operation like this for sure would have their radios on. Two, zero, four. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hit me, man. You guys should have your radios on. There should have really been more warning up ahead so that I could have gotten off the road and gotten out of the way.
At minimum, they should at least have their radios on. That, I didn't like that. I couldn't go over any further. What if my tires would have sunk into the ground there? And they had police escort. Why were the police so close to them? The cops should have been up at the next mile road telling traffic to, hey, take a detour, get off the road for a second. There's a, a house coming, two of them. There was no warning until I got there and then there's no, well, you saw what happened. I don't think that's how that should have happened at all. If I was in charge of that uh, operation, it would have that would have definitely happened a lot differently. Uh, that shouldn't have happened that way. What if I was a wide load? Yesterday I had a wide load on my trailer. What was I supposed to do? Back up an entire mile to the next mile road to get out of the way for them because they didn't warn me in time? Like I said, why weren't the police a mile ahead? stopping traffic before those houses came onto the road man questions I tell you I got questions but well, we all made it past each other and there was no issues but with an operation like that at the bare minimum they should at least be on channel 19 someone should have a radio on I don't move houses for a living though, I've never done it before, so I don't know what all the regulations are, I don't know what's involved with the permits. Uh, obviously they had police escorts, two police escorts, so I don't know if that was normal. It made me very uncomfortable. Uh, I'm very lucky that the ditch there wasn't soft where I had to go in to get around them. Uh, nobody was communicating with me over the radio. Uh, even when they drove past me, most of them didn't even look at me, or they just gave me a little nod and kept driving. I, I was trying to ask them, you know, what do you want me to do? Like, we're at this mile road, you want me to back up a whole mile to get off the road now? Because the last mile road was a mile back. But nobody even tried to hand signal me nothing, so I was very confused. Is that normal? Maybe it is. Nothing happened and we're all okay, so whatever. Won't make a big deal out of it. <coughs> I've picked up a few more friends on my windshield again. Them, please. I will clean it very soon. We are just about at our destination.
hundred meters, your destination will be on the left. Okay. If you say so. They're supposed to be waiting here for me. Probably right where that blue bin is, I'm thinking. Destination is on the left. I see it. So you can see way down there by the water, they're building something, and I've got their materials for it. But this is a very narrow driveway, and there's no way I'd be able to get in here, especially with this mailbox right there. All right, I gotta go figure this out. Another successful drop. Right there, it was a little bit difficult getting in here you can see on my where I was turning my wheels trying to get in here because I drove in this way had to back in here drive out that way and then back in here again to get it into the corner here I had a bunch of guys here helping me so it turned out pretty good everything safe and sound no damages right beside the tree right where we wanted it perfect that went as good and perfect as possible the only hard part was just weaseling my way into here because this is a very narrow road I didn't want to drive on his cement driveway there it's very expensive so I was Wiggling back and forth here, back and forth here, till we finally got it in. But we did it. Stopped here at Simonson again. Same place we grabbed fuel yesterday. Grab fuel here again. Same price as back in Canada here, so figured I'd just throw the juice in the tanks now that I don't gotta worry about it later. Let's go back. We gotta drop this trailer off, hopefully tonight yet. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nah, I won't make it tonight. Okay, well, we'll make it back to our yard. I'll drop off this trailer in the morning, and then I have to be in Brandon after that to go get a trailer and drag that trailer back to Winnipeg. That's the plan for tomorrow, and then I go home for the weekend. It's 11.30 at night. What's the scale doing open here on the Manitoba side of the border? Did they forget to turn the lights off or something? Are they, yeah, they're, they're, they're pulling in both directions. 11.30 at night. Sneaky, sneaky. Ha! Somebody's working late. They're trying to catch all the truckers trying to sneak through here at night, running illegal. Can't catch me, I got nothing to hide. But at the same time, right. at the same time, I'm running out of hours. I got no time for an inspection. I think I'm only gonna make it up to Morris. That's all I got time for. <laughs> Unless if I get- uh, 600 meters, turn right on, oh, 5th Street West. Quiet, Karen. Unless I get pulled in here. If I get pulled in here, I'm just gonna have to sleep right here. By the time they'd be done with my inspection, I'd be at hours. Which would be fine, whatever. I just prefer not to sleep at government scales. It's not my, it's not on like my top 10 list of places I like to spend the night. Let's see what they want. There's a couple of guys sleeping back there already brave souls you know that if you sleep on their property they can walk out there in the morning and give you meters, an inspection keep to the right on king street and then turn left in 50 meters that's why that's why i don't sleep on at government scales i even try to avoid public rest areas if possible because as long as you're on public property they can just walk up to you and start an inspection on your truck give them that opportunity. Alright, the sign 
a stop before entering scale. Almost in the exact same spot that we were in last night. He's in my spot. He got here first. So I guess I won't push him out of the way. I'll leave him there. We took this spot instead. It's kind of empty here tonight. Yesterday this whole place was full. There's a couple trucks here tonight, which is good. It'll be a nice quiet night. So we'll start from here tomorrow. I've got to bring this trailer back, and then we're gonna bobtail out west into western Manitoba to Brandon. We have a trailer to pick up there. I believe it's a tank, tanker? I'll confirm that tomorrow, but uh, I gotta go pick up a trailer there anyways, and just bring it back to Winnipeg, and that's my day tomorrow, and then I go home for the weekend. I'll leave it at that. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Take care.